In this video, we're gonna be talking about Jungle Scout and whether or not you should be using it. This is a completely transparent, honest review, whether or not you should be using it. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. I teach you guys how to sell on Amazon, how to get your products on that first page of Amazon, all that good stuff. So right in front of me, right here, I have Jungle Scout and it's a platform that for my profits, you can see here, I've been selling on Amazon for about five years now, literally growing it from the ground up. And at first, probably the first year, I didn't have that much money, capital, and I was averaging around $300 profit daily. Now I'm doing around $2,000 profit every day. And that definitely didn't start like that. Of course, it grew little by little. And I'm teaching you guys the principles of what you need to focus on when finding that right product to start selling on Amazon, what you should look for, what you should stay away from, and all of that stuff. So one of the most important things when selling on Amazon that I really, really emphasize is that you wanna make sure that your profit margin is 35% or higher. Why? Is because you want a good cash flowing business that's gonna grow year by year if you reinvest in it and just have it grow. So. 35% profit margin after all the Amazon fees, FBA fees, shipping fees, all of that. That's going to allow you to grow your business. So if your product doesn't have a 35% profit margin after all the pro all the fees and everything like that, I really don't recommend selling it. I would look for another product. There's a bunch of opportunities and a bunch of products that give you 35% or higher. So make sure that you're selling the right products to start selling on amazon that way you can grow your business so you, you can see here jungle scout and you can see this is the net margin you want to focus on you want to make sure that net margin is 35 percent so let's go to last year let's click this apply so total sales as of last year a little bit over a million dollars in sales but you can see from the previous year, that's 50% more, which is absolutely crazy. Like I told you guys, if you do, if you make sure that net margin is 35% or higher and you constantly are reinvesting in the business and finding new products to start selling, you can get this to do a snowball effect. I'm telling you, like I didn't have that much money to start off with, but to see that go up 50%, anybody can do it you don't need to be super smart anything you just need to know how amazon works and i teach you guys all my channel for free like nothing is needed all you need is your brain and to learn amazon you don't need to spend years on college or anything like that nothing like that you just need to focus on learning how to sell on amazon sales 1.2 mil you can see total profits still you can see 40% from the previous year. Units sold 50%. So even here, it's gonna grow more and more, maybe 50% next year, which would be amazing. With this Jungle Scout is how you can actually grow your Amazon business. Jungle Scout and Helium 10 are the only two tools that I really recommend you to get. You should pick either or, but Jungle Scout you definitely, definitely need it if you're trying to scale an Amazon business. And if you're trying to grow your Amazon business, make sure to use the link down below to get Jungle Scout. It's gonna give you the best discount code for Jungle Scout. So click the link down below if you're trying to get Jungle Scout. It's gonna be in the description or in the pinned comments. This by far is like a game changer because you're able to find products that have low competition, high search volume, you can filter it and find products that are over $15. That way that net margin is 35% or higher. And there are other videos on my channel where I get more detailed about profit margin and finding out how you're gonna get your product on the first page of Amazon. I have a ton of videos on that. So make sure to subscribe but let's go and check out some product ideas so you can get more familiar with the whole process and why Jungle Scout is probably a good bet to get. I would recommend getting Jungle Scout. Like I said, use the discount code down below 
and let's do some product research to show you guys the tools that this thing has. So we're going to go click here and do product data. So what I like to do is I like to sell products under these certain categories. So beauty is one I would sell. I will stay away from cell phone accessories, electronics. You don't want to, you don't want to be selling because it's always evolving every year, innovation, all that stuff. You want to sell products that are more stable, home and kitchen, kitchen, dining, office products, pet supplies. I'm going to stay away from this. Arts and crafts is okay. Health and household tools and home improvement. Let's just use these for example. Oh, and let's click baby as well. Baby is a great category. So let's put minimum price. Let's actually put $16 and minimum profit. Let's go aggressive on this. Let's put 7,000 in actually let's put 7,000 in revenue. Let's put max weight three pounds. I don't like selling anything heavy because of shipping fees and shipping from China to Amazon. When a customer buys it, you don't want high shipping fees as well. I tend to sell products that are small and light and less than three pounds. So we're going to put three pounds or less. And let's put max reviews. Let's do something that we can get into really easy. Let's see if we can put 500 reviews. Even 500 reviews is a lot. So for a uh, product here, we're going to put standard and seller type. We're going to put FBA. Amazon is when it's shipped and sold by Amazon. And this is like Amazon selling it themselves, which is nothing involved with what we're trying to do. FBN stands for fulfilled by merchant. When it's usually somebody shipping it from their house. And what Amazon favors the most is Amazon FBA fulfilled by Amazon, which means your product are shipped to Amazon's warehouse. And when a customer buys it, Amazon ships it to the customer and they get Amazon Prime and Amazon really prefers FBA. So they really, really prefer this. And this is what we're sticking with FBA. So we're going to click search here and it's going to give us a list of products. So you can see here, it's going to give you a list of products and just sellers that are making good amount of money. You can see this one is a birthday kit, right? And they're doing over a thousand sales every month at a price at, like I said, above $15, which is great. And they only have 127 reviews. That's a pretty good product. If you can get this, if you get this at a low price, I personally would make sure this product costs less than $2 and you would source that on Alibaba.com and find that supplier. See if you get it at $2 or less. That way that profit margin is above 35%. Then you can consider selling this type of product, but you always want to make sure that profit margin is 35%. So let's keep scrolling. Wigs is a really good one. If you can get these type of clip on um, extensions for a low price, but they really sell very high. Look at this person selling it at $65 and monthly sales, 169, but only with 169, they're making almost 11,000 in revenue every month selling this product. Only four reviews for this type of product, four reviews four reviews and they have 170 monthly sales. I might start selling hair extensions. That's crazy. I haven't really seen four reviews and getting 170 sales. Wow. So maybe, maybe sell hair extensions. That's a great one too. So we're going to keep scrolling here and you're just going to get a bunch of ideas of products to start selling on Amazon. So after you do this, you're going to make a list of all these products and you're going to get, you're going to see which one is the best idea to do. So what you would do is get a bunch of product ideas, narrow it down by finding suppliers and product costs and everything like that, and then run the numbers. How are you going to run the numbers? You're going to go on Google and you're going to put Amazon FBA calculator 
So let's say we're trying to sell a clipping hair extension, right? Let's say we're trying to sell this. Let's, let's see if we can click the listing. Um, well, we're just going to copy this ASIN for example, for right now. So you're going to put on Google Amazon FBA calculator and then click it here. You're going to do continue as guest. You're going to put in that ASIN that you just got. And with this, you can see, were they charging 129 for this clearing clipping? Wow. Actually, they were charging $130 for this. But this is because it might be real human hair. Mm. Anyways, we are going to put this, and let's say we could get this price at $30, right? And shipping cost is going to be $2. I, I say a dollar. So if you can get this at $30 a unit and um, shipping costs could be a dollar, which is most likely the right, you can make $75, you can make $75 off each sale, but you need to check out that product cost from the supplier on alibaba.com. And you just run the numbers here, make sure that net profit margin is 35% and go with that product. And you can just do this Jungle Scout is an amazing, amazing tool. I really, really recommend it. Like something like this is going to allow you to scale and grow your Amazon business. If you want to take Amazon serious, you need one of these tools, either Jungle Scout or Helium 10. I have another review of Helium 10 and Jungle Scout is just a great tool to scale your Amazon business. If you have any questions related to Amazon or anything you need leave a comment down below or reach out to me on social media i'll try to help you guys out as much as possible when selling on amazon like this year i'm really focusing on helping people grow their amazon business that's really what i want to make this youtube channel for to help people out to see if they can grow their business as well and you know it's all here for you guys all the information is on youtube you don't need a fake guru out there selling you a course or anything like that there's so much there are so much people on youtube with amazon fba that don't even sell on amazon i can guarantee you there's a lot of people on that first page of amazon fba that don't even sell full time on amazon they're just teaching people the very basics so why would you learn from somebody that failed selling on amazon so hey hit that subscribe button if you want to learn more information of selling on Amazon, just check out my other videos and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.